LA Campus provides a tool for program coordinators to manage the process through which faculty apply for and are awarded learning assistance for their courses. Here you see a timeline for the faculty course proposal, student application, and hiring process. Course proposals are submitted by faculty and then reviewed by program coordinators. Students are then able to apply for those courses that were awarded LAs. This is followed by a faculty or department-led interview and hiring process. Here you see the summary page for LA Campus during the period in which faculty submit proposals for their courses. On the left you see that this is for the Fall 2020 term. On the top, notice some program level summary information. Next is my particular department information, in this case education. And the next section shows that course proposals are currently being accepted and multiple departments are applying. I am now scrolling through the departments. Expanding the department shows all of the faculty course proposals, or FCPs, in that department. The FCP can have varying states, such as in progress, submitted to the department or program, changes requested by the department or program, approved, declined, or withdrawn. As the program coordinator, I can take any of the actions shown by the buttons on the bottom. The FCP is designed to provide faculty applicants with opportunities to describe their course structure, discuss the role of learning assistance within the course, and to become aware of new ideas for educational practices previously not considered. We will now look deeper into the FCP from the faculty member's perspective. The proposal is composed of nine elements. Course information, student to learning assistant ratio, faculty information, learning assistant use rationale, course components, learning assistant preparation, learning assistant responsibilities, assessment plan, and recruitment message. I will go through one of these nine elements in detail now. An important element of the faculty course proposal is the description of course components. It is through the course components element that faculty describe how students and learning assistants participate and interact. I am going to select three course components that characterize my course. Each of these course components has required student participation. For my first course component of lecture, LA participation is not required. However, for my recitation and group sessions, I will be using LAs. The LAs will spend three hours per week in this course component and interact with students approximately 60% of the time. Additionally, I will need to describe the role that LAs will play within this setting. Upon completion of the course component element of the FCP, the faculty applicant sees a table describing how learning assistance will be utilized within their course. This provides an opportunity for faculty members to ensure that LAs are being used most effectively. Also, the green feedback band informs the faculty members whether their values are in line with ranges set by the program coordinator. Once an FCP is submitted to the program, it can be reviewed by the program coordinator. Let's now take a look at the review process. You are now looking at a finished course proposal from the program coordinator, or PC's view. The PC can review this proposal of Physics 1240, Sound and Music, and add comments, questions, or suggestions that must be addressed by the faculty member before resubmitting. As a program coordinator, I am scrolling to the end of the proposal where I noticed an issue. The issue I noticed 
was with the LA recruitment message. The faculty member did not provide enough information regarding the time commitment values and instead wrote TBD. Since this recruitment information will appear directly on student applicants' dashboards and within the student application, it is important that it is as complete and correct as possible. Using the review functionality, I will communicate the requested changes back to the submitters. You are now looking at the summary screen for the faculty member who submitted the physics proposal that was commented on by the PC. Here you see program information near the top, physics department specific information below that, and then the faculty member's specific course proposal information. Notice that I only have one department and one course in the faculty view in LA campus, and the orange comment icon indicating that there are changes requested by the program for the Physics 1240 course proposal. Once the FCP is open, a link to the section with requested changes is shown, providing quick access to the element that requires attention. Once modifications are made, the proposal can be resubmitted. When a proposal meets expectations, the program coordinator has the ability to mark it as approved. Going back to the Program Coordinator view, I will again review the modified and resubmitted proposal. As you can see, the requested changes from earlier have been made, and the proposal can now be approved. Let's now take a look at the LA Campus software from the student's perspective. FCP Recruitment Messages are available to students on their homepage and within the student application. The recruitment message provides important information that allows the student to make an informed decision about which courses to apply to. In the student view shown here, the recruitment message for the previously approved FCP is shown, along with the recruitment messages for all other approved courses. From the student homepage, students can also apply to become a learning assistant. The student application has seven sections. Academics, interest statement, course choices, qualifications, career interests, learning assistant experience, and personal reference. Once finished, the student can review and submit the application. This brings us to the last phase of the hiring process, interviewing and hiring. During this phase, faculty can send offers or request interviews with students. During the interviewing and hiring phase, Faculty are given access to a number of tools to assist in selecting and hiring students. The hiring view for a course shows currently hired students, as well as available applicants. Available applicants can be tagged, rated, sent interview requests and offer letters, and much more. Additionally, students that have already been hired for a different course will show as unavailable to the hiring faculty member so that students do not accept more offers than allowed. When sending an offer to an applicant, an expiration date for the offer can be set, as well as a custom message to be included in the offer email. This information will be emailed to the applicant, and the offer will also be presented on the student's homepage. Within the student homepage, 
applicants can view, accept, and decline offers within the system. Once an offer is accepted, other pertinent information is made available, such as next steps and LA orientation information. We will now return to the Program Coordinator view of LA Campus. During the hiring process, Program Coordinators can monitor the status of hiring across the program. The top of the summary view shown here provides important information on the status of hiring across the program and can be used to be aware of departments or courses that may require intervention. As an example, only 189 offers have been accepted for 213 LA positions. Examining the list of departments shows that the eBio department has not completed hiring yet and do not have enough applicants for the available positions. It may be necessary for the program coordinator to communicate with the faculty members associated with these courses to see what support may be needed. Alternatively, this view also shows that the Chem and ATOC departments appear to have completed hiring and no support is currently needed. Program coordinators have the ability to monitor all student applications across the program. The view shown here provides access to individual student applications as well as the hiring status, appointment information, and other pertinent information for program management of student information. All these features and more as part of the LA Campus software. More information available at learningassistantalliance.org.